Coming up, we're going to take a look at the auditing features inside of Power BI. Hi, I'm Adam Saxon, and welcome to Guy in the Cube, a channel dedicated to helping you and your business gain insights by learning and growing on the Microsoft Business Intelligence stack. And today's video is for all you admins out there. About two weeks ago, the auditing feature was enabled inside of the Power BI service. This means you can now track certain activities in Power BI for your organization. The first thing to be aware of is that auditing is not turned on by default. A tenant admin will actually have to go into the admin portal and enable the auditing feature. If you're an admin for your tenant, you can enable the auditing feature by going to the gear icon in the upper right, going down to admin portal. Once you're in the admin portal, you can go to tenant settings and then all the way towards the bottom is going to be the setting for enabling auditing. It's a kind of a long name, so let me read it for you just to make sure I get it right. It is create audit logs for internal activity auditing and compliance purposes. Got it. So you're gonna to wanna to turn that on and that will start capturing auditing events within your tenant. They're not gonna show up right away. It's gonna take about 24 to 48 hours before you actually see events starting to show up inside of the audit search. And then after that, there's gonna be about a 24 hour lag on events populating. Okay, we've enabled it, and now we wanna search the actual audit logs themselves. To do that, inside of the admin portal, you'll see an audit section, and there it's gonna take you to Office 365. This will actually take you to the Office 365 Security and Compliance Center. And in there is where the audit logs are and where you can search for them. Now, if you want, you can just search outright. You have a few filter capabilities, such as dates and usernames, things of that nature. The thing I found most helpful is when you initially go to the audit search page, is to go under activities. There's like a drop down that you can go and select which activities you want to filter on. If you scroll all the way to the bottom, you're going to see Power BI activities. You can select that, or you can select a subset of that, and you will only see events that are for that activity itself. Moving over to the date range, you can have at max a 90-day search window. If you choose the full 90-day search window, you wanna make sure that you're starting at today's time. So the start window, which is gonna be 90 days before today, you wanna to make sure that the time block is the hour and time that it is right now. Because if you go past that boundary, you're gonna get an error. Also, if you just turned auditing on, you cannot go before the date of when you turned it on. Otherwise, you'll get an error for that as well. For the search on user, this is gonna be the UPN for the user that's in Azure Active Directory. It's gonna look kind of like the email address. It's effectively the login name that they use to sign into Power BI. Okay, that's how to search the audit logs, but what do I get out of that? Why, why would I wanna go look at this? And really, this is a collection of activities that users are gonna perform inside of the service. So you can kind of see who's doing what, and if there's any potential activity that occurred that maybe was an accident, and you wanna know how did this happen, for example, what if someone ended up deleting a dashboard and you didn't want them to delete that? We can go back and figure out who that was and maybe go figure out what happened and why they deleted it. Also, as part of that, you can actually see the IP address of the user that actually went and did the deletion. So that way we can audit in terms of, was this maybe some malicious activity? Was a computer compromised? So it's helpful information in terms of security and just auditing the functions for the service and for your business. So right now there's tracking of activities for some core pieces of the service itself, those around dashboarding, around groups, around organizational content packs, and also if you delete a report. And I'm sure as we move forward, there's gonna be more activities that you will be able to search inside of the auditing center itself. And then once you're done searching, you can optionally export the results of that search. One final note about the search results that you get back, you're gonna see users there that are the users that perform the actual activity. If that user has a Power BI license, you're gonna see who that user was. If they are just a free user in your organization, their username will be taken out and it will indicate that they were a free user itself. So if you wanna see what the actual user was that did it, you're gonna to need to make sure that they have a Power BI Pro license. Okay, my question for today is what activity do you want the most inside of the auditing feature for Power BI? You can leave that down in the comments below to let me know, and I will be sure to forward that on to the engineering team. 
And be sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already for more great content. Every Tuesday I do a technical item such as this, and every Thursday I do an information roundup where I just share things out that I saw in the last week. So thanks for watching and keep being awesome.